Elon Musk. There will be a humanoid robot in every home by 2050. Home robots with humanoid assistance could be the next big thing. Elon Musk outlines how Tesla's development of full self-driving is transferring into its robotics work, and how most houses will likely have humanoid robots in the not-too-distant future. In a recent interview uploaded by TED, Musk agrees with the interviewer that most households will have a home robot by 2050. Albeit, increasing artificial intelligence AI, remains a major roadblock. But before everything, we should know who Elon Musk is, and how he is contributing to society. So in today's video, we'll discuss on the statement of Elon Musk, there will be a humanoid robot in every home by 2050. Interested in learning more? So keep an eye on the footage. Hello everyone! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and click the notification bell button to stay up to speed on world politics, finance, international market, space and anything else in the world of technology. It took me a long time to realize that solving self-driving required solving real-world AI. Musk explains, and once you've solved real-world AI for a car, which is essentially a robot on four wheels, you can generalize it to a robot and legs as well. But after all this, humanoids will take over the world? Will Elon Musk be the person who discovers a new humanoid generation, or will this lead to the rise of the modern world? Musk emphasizes in the interview below that while companies like Boston Dynamics have demonstrated that it is possible to create compelling humanoid robots, we are still a long way from seeing robots with the AI capability to assist in the home. What's missing right now is enough intelligence for the robot to navigate the actual world and perform valuable tasks without being specifically trained, Musk argues. Those are two aspects in which Tesla excels, he continues. After that, all we have to do is design the specific actuators and sensors that a humanoid robot requires. People have no notion this will be larger than a car. Musk does warn, though, that the world will have to work hard to avoid a nightmarish outcome in terms of artificial intelligence. SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk has indicated that his other firm, Neuralink, was formed in part to mitigate the threat of artificial intelligence. Musk notes in the interview that a localized ROM chip that cannot be updated over the air would help to retain safety measures, such as anyone asking a robot to halt, which would cause it to take notice and stop what it was doing. He also believes that an AI, a regulating agency, should exist. Elon Musk believes that the humanoid robots waiting for humans at the turn will have a far greater impact on our lives than the cars look. Elon Musk is a contentious figure, as evidenced by the recent issues around a prospective Twitter takeover. But if there is one thing that must be said about the inventor of XCOM, Tesla, SpaceX, and Neuralink, it is that he has a particularly good nose for sniffing out true technological wanes. According to Musk, such a robot will first be used to perform risky and dull work that no one wants to do. And then it will evolve to the point where it can look after people, prepare supper, and mow the lawn, among other things. I expect we'll have an intriguing prototype later this year, Musk adds when asked about the schedule for such a robot. We have something useful next to here, but I believe it will be within two years. Musk also stated that he believes the cost of a humanoid robot will be cheaper than that of a car, albeit the price would initially be higher until manufacturing catches up and lowers the price. And then we'll see fast rise in the usefulness of humanoid robots year over year, as well as cost reduction and production scaling up, he says. Musk first teased the Tesla bot in August of last year during the company's AI Day. Some critics have expressed reservations about the robot project, which has been called Optimus, in part because Musk is infamous for overpromising on dates. Indeed, an internal Tesla letter leaked last year, revealing that the business is far further away from level 5 autonomy than Musk previously stated in a public declaration. Elon Musk's work and public image have divided opinion, with some hailing him as one of the world's greatest inventors and others accusing him of being a consummate self-promoter. The CEO of SpaceX and Tesla also tackles what he considers axiomatic errors, in accusations leveled at him because of his enormous wealth. Musk took a moment to realize that in order to solve self-driving, someone had to first solve real-world AI. He went on to say that if real-world AI can be solved for a car, which is effectively a four-wheeled robot, it can be applied to a robot on legs. By 2050, most houses will have a home robot, he agreed with the interviewer. However, artificial intelligence, AI, remains a significant stumbling barrier. 
Musk discusses how the radical innovations he's working on, such as Tesla's intelligent humanoid robot Optimus, SpaceX's Starship, and Neuralink's brain-machine interfaces, could help create a world where goods and services are abundant and readily available for everyone in an interview with Ted's Chris Anderson. He explained how Tesla's full self-driving research relates to its robotics initiatives in the TED interview. He also predicted that by 2050, humanoid robots will be commonplace in homes. Increasing artificial intelligence, AI, is still a major stumbling barrier. While companies like Boston Dynamics have shown that it is possible to develop compelling humanoid robots, Musk believes we are still a long way from seeing robots that can help in the home. Those are two things that Tesla excels at he said in an interview with Interesting Engineering. He goes on to say that Tesla is adamant about two things. Following that, Elon Musk stated that they must develop the specific actuators and sensors required by a humanoid robot. Musk believes that by making robots as human-like as possible, AI will be kept in check. According to Quartz, Musk agreed that there are risks associated with having fleets of Tesla bots controlling our homes in answer to Anderson's inquiry. As a result, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX have warned that the world must work hard to avoid a nightmare scenario in terms of artificial intelligence. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, has stated that his other company, Neuralink, was founded to mitigate the threat of artificial intelligence. In the interview, Musk mentions that a localized ROM chip that can't be updated over the air would help keep safety measures like anyone asking a robot to cease, which would lead it to notice and stop what it was doing. There should be an AI governing agency, he also argues. According to Musk, such a robot will be first deployed to undertake dangerous and boring tasks that no one wants to do, before evolving to the point where it can look after people, cook dinner and mow the lawn, among other things. When asked about the timeline for such a robot, Musk replied that an intriguing prototype would be ready by the end of the year. He went on to add that in at least two years, they might have something worthwhile. Musk also stated that a humanoid robot will be less expensive than a vehicle, albeit the price will initially be greater until manufacturing catches up and decreases the price. Musk emphasizes that he doesn't own a home right now and is cycling between the spare bedrooms of pals. Furthermore, he refers to SpaceX and Tesla's efforts as philanthropy, as Tesla is striving to accelerate sustainable energy and SpaceX is aiming to assure humanity's long-term survival. Indeed, when these devices become more useful, they will spur bulk manufacture, which will lower prices. Musk predicts that his price will soon fall below that of a normal car. Does this statement mean flying cars in upcoming years? Will humanoid replace every human work? Does introducing a humanoid affect the world? Having said that, as we near the finish of this video, we'd like to thank you all for sticking with us. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Most importantly, if you want to be kept up to date on anything relating to space and the internet, you should subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, peace.